little about the issues. They know about the tar sands. They know about the Keystone XL pipeline. They know that we're going to Obama because ultimately it's a decision that his administration has to make. Whether or not He's heard from all of us over and over again across the country, in Oakland or in Washington, D.C. or in Oklahoma. And make sure you know that this is what people want, to see that pipeline stopped and to hold him accountable to his words of, of turning around these issues on oil, on fossil fuels, on climate change. And he listens to us, not to big oil. So we're here, uh, perhaps Lindsay said, in a hopeful way that he actually will stand up to big oil and do the right thing and deny the pipeline. You got, you got notes for me? For the, okay, thank you. Oh, I like a packed house. There's something wrong when our commander in chief doesn't listen to 1,253 people sitting down in front of the White House risking arrest so he can stand up to corporate polluters. The president has to make this call. The Keystone XL is, is a line in the sand. If it gets built, it's game over for the climate. And what I'm asking is for you to deliver that message to the president as someone who's working as hard as I did on the 2008 campaign, because we have no other choice. This, the, the, to, to stop this pipeline is to send a clear message that, that those promises, that that dream of a clean energy economy is still there. Because the pipeline, for, for me, is basically saying, I'm going to invest in the old way of doing things. Our, our country could turn to, turn to clean energy, turn to jobs. If the potential is so amazing, what are we going to tell our grandchildren if we blow this? That there's actually hundreds of actions around the country of people visiting these offices and that this is not going away. <laughs> what, what, I, what I will assure you is that we will definitely move this message up, you know, and the folks know about the folks who show up. What would you say to Obama? I'm <laughs> sorry.